Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Gold. Uh, my name is Bailey uh, from Glowsilve Games, and uh, where am I? It has been a very long time. <laughs> uh, oh god, he named one Bailey. Okay then. Um, let me see here. Sandshrew. Scratch defense girl. Okay. What? Let me see here. Um, yeah, it has been a very long time um, since we've done one of these. I've kind of lost track completely <laughs> of where I am in this game because I've been playing so many Pokemon games lately. Uh, I really need to actually get back. I think I, I think I'm further than him actually. How are the, okay, yeah, we're good in health. Uh, further in him, further than him in story, dude. Oh, I have to go... Wait. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, it has been a very long time. I... Oh, man. I, I, I really don't know what to say. I'm... Uh... <laughs> I, oh, yeah. Um, it's the new year. We... We, we've been a very, very lazy with this, well, not lazy, but we've been kind of uh, slacking. I mostly blame myself because of um, uh, school, and I went to London over Christmas, uh, over Christmas break, and just stuff like that. I, I, uh, not stuff that I could really control. Um, I still haven't uploaded a video to my own channel since, uh, since we got back from, from since I got back from London, um, which I really need to get on. I, I actually started recording an episode of Flora Sky, but um, uh, I did that while I was waiting for Grave Kid to come back doing something. I forget what we were doing. I think I think we were streaming actually. Um, but yeah, uh, I've re whoa, level 20, okay. <laughs> I've really been slacking with, uh, uh, with my own channel. I, I need to get something up as soon as possible. Um, like, I don't know, I think I'll probably do Sonic next because it's pretty easy to record. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'll change. Let's change to Bailey. Oh man. Oh, oh, ooh, yes. Okay, uh, so they announced this, uh, this week, I think it was on Monday, they announced, uh, new, new Pokemon games for the sixth generation of Pokemon, Pokemon X and Y, and I had a heart attack <laughs> when, when I saw that trailer. I, I was just on Facebook, and I saw that Jesse had... Uh, had shared one of uh, Jimmy's posts, Nintendo fan for the wins posts, um, and he and uh, the post said something like, uh, uh, "Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Generation Six or something," and um, I was like, "What?" And I pretty much, uh, well, I watched the trailer. And I, I, I kind of, I, I kind of got emotional. I'm not gonna lie. I, I was very excited that they're finally going to, to a, a 3D format with the, with the Pokemon series. It's really cool. <laughs> Actually, I like it. I like the way the game looks. Um, I don't like how the male protagonist looks at all. But. Uh, I, I do like how the female protagonist looks, just, I think, from what I noticed, she has, like, super long hair, which I think is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I, I don't know, I, I think, I think this is gonna be a good one. I mean, I thought 5th gen kind of came and left pretty quickly, you know? Um, uh, I, 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 and like it, it's strange because 
fifth gen is probably the best Pokemon game yet. Pokemon, well, well, uh, Black and White 2, I should say, are probably the best Pokemon games yet. And I, I really hope that just because this game is in 3D, it doesn't slow the game down, you know? Because when, when, uh, when they got, um, when they got to Diamond, or, yeah, Diamond and Pearl and Platinum, uh, well, mainly Diamond and Pearl, everything kind of, kind of slowed down, you know? And, uh, you know, they, they didn't really fix it that much in, uh, um, in Platinum. Um, the, and the, uh, the battles in Black and White, and Black and White 2, they were faster, but they, you know, they weren't perfectly faster. They were, they were still a little slow because, you know, the, the camera had to pan over, excuse me, uh, to the Pokemon that, that was being attacked, and then it showed the attack animation, and it panned back, and then the next thing happened, um, uh, which, which got a little monotonous after a while, uh, I, I, for the longest time, uh, turned off the, um, the, 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 the battle animations and the options, um, just because I thought the battles were a little too slow, um, like really slow, well, no, no, sorry, I'm talking out of my, my butt here, uh, not really slow, but, like, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It's just strange. Anyway, change of subject. Uh, I watched the Sonic fan film uh, earlier today, and it was it was terrible. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie. I did not enjoy it at all. I thought it was really bad, and I know that they got like. A bunch of internet stars like Brentel Floss and the Nostalgia Critic and uh, James Rolfe and people like that, but I I really I, I don't care. I mean, I just the effects were bad. The Sonic looked freaking terrible, and it just seemed like um, I don't know. I didn't like the camera angles. I as a broadcasting nut like I am, I, I, I do get into specifics like that, like camera angles and uh, image quality and um, acting and this and that. The acting was terrible. The guy who played Eggman did awful. <laughs> I mean, he... They really couldn't have made him look more ridiculous. He would have looked better if he had, like, the goggles on top of his head. Um, that's a bit more modern Eggman, but, you know, Sonic had green eyes. So that kind of threw all the, the classic uh, mindset out the window. Um, why did he train up Bayleaf so much? I don't know. Um, from, from what I heard, he said that he pretty much trained the entire last episode. At least that's what I think he. T that's what I seem to remember him telling me. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, I th I just thought that the Sonic fan film was kind of terrible in you know pretty much every way. I I I I didn't enjoy it at all. It was way too short for one thing. I I don't know if they're they're coming out with it in parts. If they do, that's really stupid because. I mean, it, they, they label it the Sonic fan film, and then they don't make it a film. They're making it a series of short films, um, which is silly. <laughs> I, I mean, the, the, like the, Halo, the Halo film, which wasn't a fan film, it was actually, a, it was actually a, a, an approved film, as far as I'm aware. Um, uh, it was... It was pretty good. I mean, like it was, uh, 
a ridiculously high budget film for something, you know, just put up on machinima. Um, but the, uh, you know, the effects were pretty darn good. The, um, story was really good and it was just intriguing. It was a, it was a good film. Um, and so uh, I the uh, I forget what the name of the studio that made the Sonic fan film, but like uh, a few years earlier, they also made a, a Mega Man fan film. And after watching the Sonic fan film, I I uh, I watched well I started watching the Mega Man fan film. It's it's on pause right now, but um, just from the I think I'm like 30 minutes in. Just from the 30 minutes of the uh, movie that I've watched so far, it is superior in almost every way to the Sonic fan film. And like effects, you know, they're they're fan film effects, but like they're still, you know, they're still pretty good for for what they had. You know, they're just an, an amateur film company who made a Mega Man fan film. And they had, you know, they had what they had. They had uh, the, the, you know, they, they animated Cut Man, and they animated Guts Man, and they animated uh, Bomb Man. But, um, they, they were still kind of, they were still kind of bad. I, I mean, like, they, they were bad as, for, from a, a film perspective, you know, you know, like, compared to, like, Avatar, they're freaking terrible, um, but really, other, other than that, for a fan film, it is, it, it's really good, it's a really good film, what's this, oh yeah, this guy just gives you charcoal, um, but, like, <sighs> Sonic fan film, really all it was, was they were trying to show off special effects, um, and they were trying they, they were trying to show off special effects in 1080p i mean it, I, can, can you tell that i didn't really enjoy the, the sonic fan film that much i'm going to go train a bit by the way um i i don't know i i just thought it was really bad really just sonic looked gross and Eggman looked gross, and Knuckles looked gross. Knuckles was, like, at the very, very end. But, um, whatever. Uh, every, everything was just gross about that. It, it just... It, it felt like too, too much attention. You know, it, it was asking for too much attention. And, you know, that's what it got from what I've seen. It's gotten lots of attention. And like, <laughs> they really couldn't have put Brental Floss on the screen. As, as a side note, they, they really couldn't have put Brental Floss on the screen for a longer amount of time. I mean, he could have been in the entire film, and it wouldn't have. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and the look on Brental Floss's face. I'm I'm gonna flash up that that picture. It's just bad. It was just a really bad film. All the acting was bad. The effects were bad. Like the uh the the actors shooting the gun like uh, one of the girls uh, one of the girls from the gun people who were supposed to be gun um they were just walking around in a forest and I assume that that chick is some kind of internet personality. I, I assume that pretty much everyone in that film is an in internet personality. Uh, other than a few, obviously, but... Um, everything, all of the acting was bad. The best acting was probably from James Rolfe, and he was just a newscaster. And what the heck were they trying to do with the Eggman? I... Like they they were clearly trying to go with the the visual style of a classic Eggman from like the Genesis games, but after a while it was just like 
Well, not after a while. As soon as they showed Eggman on the screen, you were just... Ew, what? Ugh, what is that? You know, they, they really should have put the god... Why did I switch to Bayleaf? Um... Um, but yeah, I... It was just... It was really bad. It was a really bad film. Sonic... For some reason, they decided to put the... The, uh... The spines, what are they called? The the quills, whatever whatever the the spines of a hedgehog are called. They tried to put those on him and it looked really bad and really gross. And Sonic's voice actor was really bad and Sonic's personality was really bad. It was just bad. It was really, really bad. I I'm sorry for Sonic fans out there that enjoyed it, but as as most of you know, I am a Sonic fan, and it was just a bad, really bad film. I'm not just gonna base the fact. I'm I'm not gonna say that that was a good film just because I'm a Sonic fan. That it was really, it was just bad. <laughs> How many times can I say bad in the span of a 30 minute video? I don't know, but like the the Mega Man fan fan film. It was almost perfect, you know, like every, all the camera angles were great, all the, uh, the, the acting was, you know, superb, especially from Dr. Light and Dr. Wily, especially Dr. Wily, but, um, the, the acting in, from, like, Mega Man, or, sorry, Rock and Roll, um, you know, they were what they were, you know, Roll is a, a robot, so she acts robotic and, you know, silly, and so does uh, Mega Man, and so does, you know, all of the other ones. Um, and it was just a silly uh, fan film. That That's what it was. It was a fan film. It was, um, it was just good. I, I really... I don't know. I, I really want to get into filmmaking <laughs> because of that film. What, Weedle? Uh, no. Um, f filmmaking is what I want to do for a career. Filmmaking, editing, maybe radio, stuff like that. That's why I'm doing this whole YouTube thing, actually, uh, to kind of prepare me for the, the time it's going to take and all that stuff. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm very much, if they're making more of the Sonic, vi Sonic fan films, I, I'm very much looking forward to them improving themselves, <laughs> because it was just a really, really bad film, and I honestly feel sorry for people, <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm being a hypocrite here. I'm just gonna stop talking. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna stop talking for the rest of the episode, and uh, you can just listen to the game. So yeah, uh, see you guys in next episode. Just kidding. Yeah, I, I, yeah. <laughs> that was a really lame joke, I apologize. Uh, my, my voice is actually starting to, uh, crap out on me a bit. I, I, uh, bleh. <laughs> it, it's kind of hard to have that, that upper respiratory infection that I had. Um... And, you know, record the videos after a long... Because I still think that the, the respiratory infection is uh, affecting me. It's still uh, there in the back of my throat somehow. And it's caught... Oh, crap. Yeah, I forgot he was grass. Um, I forgot... Wait. Wait. Bleh. What, what am I saying? Why did I... Mashing buttons. Smashing buttons. <sighs> crap. I have to remember what I was talking about. <laughs> I apologize. Crap. Uh, 
Oh, uh, respiratory infection. Um, I when I had the respiratory infection last year, I was unable to continue talking for like more than a certain amount of time, like more than ten minutes or something. So I was completely unable to record anything during that. Because if I did, it would sound like I'm gargling Alfredo sauce. And it just, it was terrible. Why am I, I'm not thinking about what I'm, oh my god. I'm not really thinking about what I'm playing right now, I'm just talking. This is a more talky episode. More talky, more talky episode. Um... Yeah. Come on. <clears throat> I'm well, I think it's probably done by now, but I I'm recording the the next episode of um Poke MMO uh part 6. Oh yeah. I guess I better go heal up. Oh god, I wish sprinting was in this game. Oh god. Um I I I can't wait for them to 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 finally make some kind of Ruby and Sapphire uh remakes for the 3DS. And when they do, I really since since before they kind of, um, when they made the remakes, like when they made the Fire Red and Leaf Green remake, they kind of made it in the graphical style of the, uh, the current game at that time, which was Ruby and Sapphire. Um, I'm probably going to lose this gym battle, by the way. <laughs> yeah, they, they made it, uh, in, in the, in the graphical style of, Ruby and Sapphire, you know, Heart, Heart, Gold, and Soul, Silver made it in the graphical style of uh, Platinum, and you know, they they did that they, they didn't do well. Probably since the graphical style for Black White and Black and White Two were so similar, they just uh, they just didn't. I, I really don't know what I'm going to do with this Sanshrew. I, I don't really have any desire to use it. I, I guess I'll just leave that up to Jordan. <laughs> um, oh, I have Poison Powder. That'll be helpful for the gym. Um, yeah, the, the graphical style. And uh, so I really hope that they use the graphical style of the 6th uh, gen for the Ruby Sapphire because you know that's prob we we all know that that's probably what they're going to do. They're going to make 3DS remakes of uh Ruby and Sapphire. And like with uh Leaf Green, Fire Red and Leaf Green, they really didn't do much to change the game. Um they it was pretty much the same as uh, red, blue, and yellow, except for, you know, the, the whole Pikachu walking behind you thing in yellow. Um, but uh, they really didn't do much different there. But what they did with, uh, what's it called? That, Heart Gold and Soul Silver, <laughs> they, uh... Th Blah, what am I thinking here? With the whole... <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm, I'm just drawing a blank here. The, uh... Walk the, the Pokemon walking behind you thing. Uh, they, they brought that back from Pokemon Yellow, and they had the whole Pokewalker thing, which I actually took advantage of. Oh my god, this Fury attack, whatever it was. Um... They brought that back for the Heart Gold and Soul Silver, which was it was it was something different. It was something new, which I thought was really cool. I'm just curious what they are going to do with the Ruby Sapphire remakes. They can't do Pokewalker because there's a 
a pedometer in the <laughs> in the 3DS itself, so I guess they could do that, but you know, whatever. Um, yeah, I'm just uh, Ruby and Sapphire um, was one of my first Pokemon games, actually. Well, uh, my first Pokemon game was uh, Silver. I, I I grew up with Silver. Well, I didn't grow up with it. My cousin stole it at one point, <laughs> and I never never saw it again. I'm gonna clear my throat here. Okay, sorry about that. Um, the oh what oh oh god. Okay, I I I wasn't expecting this. What a surprise. <laughs> My Bailey evolved into Flaffy. No. Um, I, I'm gonna pause here and go get a drink of water. I'm very thirsty, so be back in a second. All right, sorry about that. <clears throat> I just I, I suddenly got super thirsty. Uh, I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center. Um, I I wonder if I should fight the gym leader right now or I, I kinda wanna screw with him I kinda wanna just place him right in front of the gym so he's forced to to fight it I don't think he wait no nah, he probably fought Bugsy just now but I kind of really wanna screw with him right now and the part crap mashing buttons I swear I didn't do that on purpose um take a sip water um i i won't be able to finish this battle in 3 minutes so i'm probably going to end this off here um i didn't really do much cutting because there wasn't really much cutting to do uh yes um so yeah, I'm I'm just gonna end the part off here. Uh, thirty minutes of play, not thirty minutes of video, technically. So yeah. <laughs> See you guys next time whenever I do that. <laughs> whenever whenever we well actually. See you guys next time on Pokemon Gold when Grave Kid fights Bugsy probably for a second time, or goes and trains. Which is what he'll probably do. Anyway, I'm just stalling. <laughs> See you guys later. Have a great day.